I am going to be starting a series of videos on one of the most important topics in my niche of data science, which is the causal inference space. Experimentation is the backbone of marketing and product data science. This is how we determine if feature changes and launches and marketing campaigns have an effect and when to go forward with these changes. But in a lot of cases, you can't do simple user level experimentation. User level experimentation, there are platforms for and a lot of times internal tools and an analyst can do them. But in many cases, there are spillover effects. And so some of these examples could include, let's say you give out coupons to people and people could share those coupons. So if Live Nation was randomly assigning users uh, to get a coupon or not, right, friends, multiple friends in the same city could share a coupon that could distort the treatment effects. Or you might have users that are competing over scarce resources. So if there is a treatment, if there's an experiment and a, a treated users get an advantage in, say, booking hotels, that could affect the control users and distort the experiment results. So in the case of spillovers, a lot of times what we do are more clustered experiments. It might be geo-based or network-based in the case of social media. But now we run into a problem that we usually have small samples. In many geo-based experiments, for example, we might only have 210 possible geos. This is when we use DMAs. And of those 210, maybe only 20 to 40 even matter. So there's just so much to talk about, but some of the video topics that I have in mind are going to be uh, stratified sampling, uh, difference in differences, uh, synthetic control, how to deal with um, small numbers of treated units, and how you can validate your results when we're dealing with these small samples. So follow along here or some of my other socials as you see below.